Are we good? All right. Welcome, everybody. I'm Jason from the Fretboard Journal with dear friend, former Fretboard Journal employee, Ryan Richter. That's true. Part of Dijon's band. We've just watched the wildest sound check imaginable, and we're here to kind of figure out what exactly is going on here. This is a setup like few other bands. Ryan, what do you got? Uh, well, I, I'm uh, by far the most traditional instrumental voice in the band. I'm playing primarily lap steel, and I'm playing this instrument here that I uh, designed and built with my really good friend when I lived here in Seattle, um, incredible woodworker named Steve Withacombe. And uh, this was the product of he and I spending every Monday night in the NFL offseason together, uh, finding time and just making this thing happen. Uh, it's one piece of walnut, Bill Asher pickups. Um, Steve basically fabricated everything else. My friend, uh, Maya Feebig, did all the gold piping. And his shop, I don't know if you can see this, but the shop was in the Georgetown neighborhood of Seattle. And in, in that building, there was also a foil stamp maker. So we had this made up. And because of all the air traffic noise, we called it the Skyway. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is, this, is a, this is one of two. Steve has the other one. And... Um, yeah, we bought the we bought the lumber right down the street here in Belltown years ago, and um, yeah, as far as what I'm playing through, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, I have this creepy fingers uh, creepy fingers fuzz that I use just once uh, for a solo to 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 get over everyone. Integrated volume pedal tuner. Uh, EQ that I never use. I don't know why that's even here, to be honest. This is a occasional. This is out of the loop right now. This is my. This just kind of gives me a little bit more compression for my bass level lap steel tone. And because I play an amp that's non reverb, I have this, which is a Boss uh, RV6. Amp wise, I'm playing out of the new Chris Stapleton um, Princeton, which is a great amp from Fender. And uh, it's got a 12 inch speaker as opposed to the 10. And it's an incredibly high power 12 inch. So I've never, I've never heard my, my, my lap steel organically break it up ever, not once. Um, and yeah, this, this Strat is uh, something I put together myself. Um, all parts body. Uh, these are uh, Sur pickups. Eric Johnson neck. Um, got this thing from Deco Boom. This, nice. uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this this thing is this bridge this bridge block is from uh, Fu Tone. I was feeling uh, adventurous and just you know reading forums and it seemed like the one to get, so I got it. And uh, Wiley Gilbert cut me out this 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 custom uh, jack plate. And uh, yeah, I got the pickup covers and all the red stuff piecemeal um, after the fact. So this guitar rules and I love it a lot. And then I'm playing Dijon's bass for one song in the set and I don't know anything about that bass. <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell you its provenance at all, but uh, it is what it is. Can you give us a little tone? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, fundamentally, this is my, this is my sound. Keep that going, Jack. It's my buddy Jack over there. So, miraculously, this is a band where I get to do that um, all the time. And it's a total thrill to be able to play um, like that, because I, uh, if you can't tell any, anyone that's watching this, you probably know that I am just copying Greg Lees every chance I get. <laughs> and any, any band that lets me do that, um, I'm, I wanna be in forever. So he's the king and I'm just uh, copying him as best I can. Love it. Yeah. All right, Jack, what Hi. do we have going on here? Here we've got a, a true Eurorack modular guitar pedal board. Uh, 
with multiple volume pedals that basically allows me to make crazy patches by feeding in the notes I want to hear into a set of crazy delays and resynthesizers and resonators. And then it's very wild and unpredictable. And then I sort of, I sort of bring that up with a volume pedal in certain moments, sort of just creating sort of ambient patches in between songs and big spurts of noise and, and, and sort of the unidentifiable crazy sounds that are going on are, are, are being conjured in this. And, and in was this, this your deal before the Dijon band? Definitely, yeah. He yeah. didn't hire me to, to, to uh, <laughs> I didn't come up with this just for this. Yeah, this is, I've been, I've been heavily into Eurorack and building modular systems, but this is the true baby in terms of, put, put, you know, putting guitar into it. It's truly yielded some extremely special sounds, which I am happy to show and tell the world about. Yeah, um, and, and you've got a traditional, albeit small, pedal board down there. What's the baby, signal chain look like baby here? Baby board on the bottom is just so I can, your rack, unfortunately, we were just chatting about this, is not king in the distortion overdrive world yet. Uh, guitar pedals still take the cake there, so I, I'm finishing it with a couple different drives. There's like a fuzz and and then like a standard overdrive. Uh, both of those are Spaceman. And a little reverb. Um, and then, yeah, so the chain is into modular, down onto pedal board, back into modular, and then out to sort of a second pedal board here. <laughs> it's a nightmare and a half. I cut a hole in the table so I could get some of my wires down there. Um, but yeah. And then just direct? And then direct, oh yeah. An amp means nothing once you're this, <laughs> once you're this deep. Well, let's hear a little bit of it. Cool, yeah. I mean, I was playing this, which I was just digging. This is mostly Star Lab, just grabbing random octaves with a sort of uh, random LFO and some resonating notes. I think. <laughs> something there and then a lot of the stuff I do is sort of just playing like a pentatonic shape secretly quietly into this thing reversing pitching down it's got a bunch of cool tape like craziness so this is a sound you hear a lot during the show <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I love you it. You do it loud, just <laughs> three notes and a um, bunch of knobs. Can I take the mic for a second? Yeah. Uh, Ryan, again, I just want to say <laughs> the guitar that Jack is playing. Oh yeah, this is is the is the is the joy of my life, he and also for it back this week. something that I very ridiculously and very foolishly sold to Jack in the. I don't know even why, but this is a guitar for those people out there that that might think it looks familiar. It's a exact copy of a Bill Frizzell Telecaster that was made by J.W. Black. And I found it on Craigslist San Diego, a very uh, guitar-focused helicopter pilot in the <laughs> Navy put it together. And uh, I want it back every day, but it's Jack's now. It's the only good guitar I've ever played in my entire life. It's true, it's really special. I can't do anything else. Sorry to my sponsors. 
Uh, and one and two more things I want to say. We you can't see it now because we're obviously not playing. But Jack's role very uniquely is also that he mangles our sound entirely while we're playing during the set through this same rig. And also worth mentioning for anyone out there that's seen the film that we made um, in support <laughs> of the record, Jack is the director and I'm visionary all behind the that whole now. process. So he's Here the boss. So uh, I know you downplayed your setup here, but it does look pretty impressive to me, and it sounds amazing. Can you talk a little bit about what's going on here? Yeah, I don't. I really don't think there's that much going on. I hit maybe two pedals <laughs> for the set, honestly. But um, you got a BF2 flanger. There's a delay I barely use. Uh, the mood for like pitch and some reverb stuff, mm -hmm. and the effects arranger just for like a crazy distorted kind of crunched out reverb. And what guitar do you have? This is, I don't, I think this is a 60s reissue. Uh-huh. Uh, I got it, I don't know when they made it, but 60s reissue Jaguar, and it's just kind of modified, so uh, it's like a kind of baritone uh, range. Okay. But yeah. And then, and then everything's just kind of uh, run into a mixer just to have like a lot of headroom, but it kind of breaks up if you're playing really, really hard. It has more headroom than like an overdrive, but it sounds sounds pretty good. Yeah. So I know a lot of when you guys first posted those videos before the album came out, a bunch of folks were geeking out, wondering exactly what this old four track was doing. You're just using it as a mixer. Literally, just uh, it just breaks up into this uh, just a one channel. That's it. Got it. Yeah. And then that into a Roland Jazz Chorus? This is just for monitoring. Okay, so yeah, you're going it's direct? Actually, it's actually just completely DI. Okay. Yeah. And tell, Mike, you want to give us a little bit of the, like, play, play like, sweet thing, and then lean into the, lean into the, uh, the Ranger. Yes, sir. This is kind of the this is kind of the ranger sound. Secret weapon, this pedal. Fex Ranger. Fex Ranger. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just I really want. I don't think I have that. That's it. That's really the whole. Well, hold on for a second. Mike. Mike is also. Mike is also responsible for all of the keys that we hear during oh, our yeah. set, and he's the king of what I like to call law and order tone. Check this out. And uh, it's the greatest. So we got like a cheap Casio. Bass is just this Korg Delta. I use it for bass and then um, some string stuff. And that's that's about it, really. Um, oh yeah, and then I got some SP404, and then that's it, just for samples and like uh, some pads and stuff and. It's a pretty simple setup. <laughs> we recorded a, an, an impromptu song in a dressing room, swept, swept the internet, and if people are lucky, we might drop it on them at some point through the song, at some point through the set. Um, but yeah, Mike is the Mike is the king. He's the he's the uh, the water that rises the tide in this in this band of ours. And I'd also like to say, you can feel free to cut the interview seconds ago if you want, but I do want to go on record in saying uh, both Mike and Jack are complete inspirations to me and a total thrill to play with every night. You as well, man. And uh, we have as much fun as we possibly can. And uh, 
I think that's the score here from the new Crocodile, Seattle, Washington.